In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you three powerful ways how to make your muzzle flares look incredible inside of Fusion 9. Let's go. What's going on boys and girls, my name is VK, welcome to Phenomenal Creations, the channel which helps you make your VFX phenomenal inside Adobe After Effects and Fusion 9 from Blackmagic. Today, we are going to experience everything we need to know of muzzle flares from your action movies. So, there's a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and check out what is the thing we're going to be creating today. So when we open up our Fusion 9 project here with the muzzle flares and everything, it can look pretty intimidating, like we have a bunch of nodes doing a bunch of things. But remember, this is just a really repetitive effect. We do this once for one gunfire, then just repeat everything for as many shots as you need. And here, this footage I use here is available for you to download in the description down below as every single piece of footage I have in my tutorials. Really cool, let's go ahead and begin this tutorial. Alright, I have taken the liberty to already import my footage inside Fusion 9 here. I will put it up on the first view here, we can see what we have here. Alright, we have uh, my, my brother reacting some recoiling of the gun. A pro tip, when you acting with guns, crash course, really quickly. When you're acting the recoil, don't do upwards, because that is not physics. When you're shooting a bullet, the equal force is going towards your body, so recoil towards your body. Just as a pro tip, it will look a lot better, so... Pro tip. Alright, so the first step in this process is creating the flare. And, okay, technically we're not creating a muzzle flare, we're gonna use a muzzle flare, and I have a really, really good one. This is a muzzle flare from ActionVFX.com. You have heard me say about these guys a lot in the past. They are amazing at what they do, and their muzzle flare flares are top-notch because they have taken images from real guns. But hey, you don't have to use this because these are paid assets. You can find a link down below if you want to check them out too. And... So, you don't have to have them, you can just Google muzzle flares, you can find them. But the real important thing here is to, uh, to remember that never use one muzzle flare and use just as your effect, just a flash. Don't leave it like that, because we have a lot to learn here. So when you drop in your, your muzzle flare of choice, including the downloads, a preview file for this, for your training purposes only, exclusive here, your luck is there. And so... When you put up a PNG file, it will look pretty artifacted and not good, but there's nothing wrong. We just have to tell Fusion that um, we're going to make it look good and we're working with alpha. So just go to the import tab for the single uh, fire element and go pulse multiply by alpha. It will change everything. Then let's go ahead and create a merge node to merge these together. So let's put the, the footage in the base. Let's have the footage on this first view and the, and the merge on the second. And let's go ahead and put uh, the single fire to the green arrow, which is foreground. And let's put it just like here. So once we have the muzzle flare, all we can do is go to the merge node and we can go ahead and change the size of the flare and everything. But let's go ahead and be before we do any of that stuff, let's go ahead and find our first frame with our first recoil. Let's go ahead and, and shut this merge off let's go find the first recoil we can find here the first recoil happening so let's go ahead and turn this on again so what we're gonna do is go ahead and rotate this about 100 degrees and 180 degrees and put that flare on where the gun is a really good uh, general rule of thumbs is to make the muzzle flare as big as your gun is don't make it smaller don't make it too large make it approximately the same size of the gun it's a really good rule of thumbs there so I have that really well positioned. Let's put the muzzle right there. We can see it's, this is a real cool with really high quality elements. It's when you have these small sparks here where you can see where the muzzle goes. It just adds on everything. It looks really good. So next thing to do is what we have to do is make that muzzle flash just last that one frame. We're actually doing the, that reactment of the recoil. So how we do this is we jump into the timeline, uh, the timeline uh, panel here, and the frame number 33 is the one we want to affect. So we're gonna go ahead and drag the merge node 
and put that merge node on lasting just one that one second like this because when we view this then it just will last that one second if you will be using just a loader one for the single fire that won't affect it because it's still merged with that merge node so you have to be controlling the merge node to make it work good so when we're in the flow chart now we have our flash the next step in creating a really good muscle flash is the body flash the body flash is something just is stylistic but it's still making Reflecting to the body the, the like the coloring and the light from our muzzle flare. It's really important So how we build this is let's go ahead and create a new merge node and Let's have it here on the side and let's go ahead and re uh, and rename this uh, this merge node to Body flash just to keep ourselves really organized on what we're doing here then what we're gonna do is go ahead and copy our footage layer control C and control V to have it up here and let's go ahead and create a new merge node to merge that so we can merge this on top of our existing merge here so we're gonna go take this red output and put that to the green arrow to have this on the foreground then what we're gonna do is go ahead and select our footage and click on this B spline editor tool here and let's put the body flash on the second viewer so we always have the latest merge node on the second viewer so we can always see the most updated thing here let's go to the B spline and let's go ahead and have that footage on number one here have that B spline selected and then let's go ahead and add a B spline mask on the things we uh, think is going to be most illuminated by the light of the flare and in this case it's most likely the face and also a little bit of the arm you can do also you can see how it, uh, it pops up on the left viewer here you can do several also so let's go ahead and select click let's take a new B spline and let's put this on the arm have here we can see the, the most highlighted parts of our body are really good reference on what we're doing here let's go and take a one more here and let's on the the torso like this and then let's remember to close that up then what we can do is go ahead and adjust the soft edge is basically like a feathering that's the torso one we can really well monitor you know, on the left side here let's pull down the levels let's go to the second beast plan which is the arm soft edge that too and why i'm adjusting the level basically the opacity of the element is basically when you're having this flare it will, will most effectively uh, illuminate your face then we don't want just it to be as powerful on our body as everything else so let's just tone that those down just a little touch let's go to the beast plan one which is the face just soft edge these but don't let's not touch the level so now we have here basically our B spline all the next thing we we'll do is go ahead and add that color corrector node or a color corrector node to add some spice to this body flash let's go ahead and jump in and give it some gain here we can see how it gives us a little bit more of that light reflected from that flash just on the areas we have the B spline on let's go to the this color wheel and adjust it to match a little bit of the tone coloral tone from the muzzle flash itself and this really depends on what kind of muzzle flash you are using in your shot if you're using a real yellow one then have more yellow i'm using a pretty orange one from action vfx so i'm gonna adjust according to that also small tip when you're working with fire elements and muzzle flash in general it's really good to have it on another blending mode than normal let's go ahead and uh, go to the merge node where the fire is merged to and go to the apply mode and and take in uh, the the screen uh, like blending mode it really just helps blend fire in daylight so that is really important to note so now once we have our our fire element or our body flash the next thing to do is to animate so it, it's not continue because if we do this it's like all the B spline is not moving it's just it just hovering there for no reason so we have to go ahead and animate this so it barely or more efficiently works with our with our clip here so what we're gonna do is go to the timeline and let's let's first let's call this yeah we have the footage let's call this glow it just helps me know where we are working and let's go to the timeline go to glow here and let's go to the beginning and trim this so we are beginning at the frame number 33 and let's scroll here so you can see the ending and let's make this about two frames long two or three frames 
is pretty good. Let's make it three frames. Let's go to the color corrector and select that so we, we can see what we're doing, but still we can have the control over here. And let's click on this button because we want to fade this, uh, the intensiveness of this, um, this body flash. So it's not bright 100% all the time. It's fading out after we do the shot. So let's click on this button. I have no idea what it's called, but it looks like a fat butterfly. So let's click on the fat butterfly button here. And that's what I'm going to do is right click and click animate and then we can take it down. Now we can control how bright it is due to our animation time. Let's put it something like 70% for the first frame. Let's drag our scroller or timeline one frame forward and let's that take about two. Half of that. Last frame. Half of that. That's how generally I like to do the things is take uh, your first opacity then then like half a double 50 percent and then again 50 percent it just makes it look really natural so now we have our body flash and our normal muscle flash and all this takes us to the last step of making your muscle flash looks incredible is the smoke element smoke element is really important that's er that's what ties everything together to make this look really hollywood really good is that smoke element so let's go ahead and select the last of our body uh, our merge nodes let's create a new one and we let's put it like here and let's put that on the second viewer always have the latest merge node seen on your second viewer just because we can see the latest of updates click f2 and call this smoke let's drop in our smoke element you can find it in the description down below to use in your stuff you can put it on the first viewer let's put that on the foreground here on our element and let's put that to the screen mode and then let's go ahead and position that somewhere around our our effect here or our muscle flare then we can jump into the timeline find our loader which is right here the loader 2 let's just double click that we have a smoke puff yeah it's pretty much this one and let's go ahead and just trim a couple of its frames in the beginning so it, it just has this puff it just begins in a puff it's now it doesn't have that orb and then let's just move this so it happens with our fire okay cool then what we're going to go and do go to the merge node let's size it up just a touch like this let's go to the blend options and blend this just a touch and then we can go ahead and right click and animate and let's just go a couple of frames forward to put that on the zero blend so now when we look at this Let's go ahead and give us some more comp outram. Now we have a muscle flare. It's really cool. Now we have this we have the smoke, we have the body flash, we have the muscle flare, we have everything going. Now you just repeat all these steps in creating basically this result when you have everything, all the muscle flares happening, and you have all the smoke and less, just everything stacked up together with the body flashes makes everything look really, really good. And why my graph looks like this is basically I just made all the flashes at the, at one point just just have all the flashes, then I made all the body flashes, then I made all the smokes, and then I just put a saber node, some color correction, some grading, and that's your effect. So that is everything you need to know of creating professional muzzle flares inside of Fusion 9. Hope you guys dig this tutorial. Thank you for sticking around. Now, don't if you like the tutorial, please like and comment on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to see what's happening in the future. A lot of cool projects are happening in the action world. So definitely stay tuned in that. Ring that notification bell if you have any interest in that. My name is VK. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.